What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial. Today we'll be going over how to color a row based on a cell value. So I have a data set that I found online, a uh, link will be in the description. So all you need to do is, uh, let's start off with opening the Visual Basic Editor. Go to Tools, Macro, Visual Basic Editor. And I already have the code written up, so we'll just kind of go through it step by step. So the subs will be called color rows and we declare our variables we have count and i counts going to be equal to this line of code here and what this line of code does is it looks in column a and excel will start from the very bottom and it will go up and continue to go up until it finds the first non-blank cell and in this case that first non-blank cell will be in a 232 so the count will be equal to 232 in order to check this you can use a message box and what the message box will do is it'll tell you your count at that moment in time. So then we have I set to six, and I set to six is because our data starts here at six. And what we wanna do is now have a, a do while loop. And in the loop, when I, as long as I is less than or equal to the count, so as long as six, it starts at six, as long as I is less than or equal to 232, we'll be inside this loop here. So inside the loop, we have an if statement where we have um, this cell, this cell is going to be I5, so it'll start off at 6.5 and go to 7.5 and continue. Um, and in order to figure out what cell you're going to be using, it's always vertical first and horizontal. So we're going to be vertical 6, so down 6, and then going to the right 5 spaces. That'll be right here. So what we want to do is we'll be checking to see if the population density is greater than or equal to 100. So if it's greater than or equal to 100, then we'll step into here. And this range will turn this color. And the range is going to be cells I1, so I6 at this point, and 1. So I, so down 6, and it's going to be one, one space, so here. And then down 6 over 20 spaces. And over 20 spaces would land you right here. So it'll color the entire row, depending on where this if statement is triggered. And this RGB statement here, you can find this by picking your color. Um, you can go here, go to fill color, go to more colors, and then you can go to your spectrum and pick whichever color you want. So you'll check it here. And then if you go to the RGB section, it'll tell you which parameters to use to get that particular color. So if I wanted this color, I could use 34, 198, 251. Um, what I have here is gonna be what, 67, 195 and 233 that's going to be around the same color so like a teal kind of a color and by the way RGB so red green blue those are the primary colors of the eye so <clears throat> after we leave our if statement we'll iterate I by one so the I will continue to increase until it's greater than count and once that happens the loop will stop and the sub will end so we can let this run Pay close attention to column E. That's where um, the actual uh, sub will hit. Um, anything greater than or equal to 100 should highlight that color. So let's do this. Let's run it. So first, our message box came up. It's 232. That's the actual number of the count. And then boom, there you go. All the rows where the population density is greater than 100 turn our blue and you see it stops 20 spaces over to give you a clean look now if you wanted to color the entire row you could do that I actually have this here I commented it out first but we'll let it run so you can see that and it's gonna be a different color I'll comment out the message box too because we don't need to see that so what's gonna happen now is that whenever it sees um, a value greater than or equal to 100 in column E it's going to make the entire row, so past this, past T, we'll turn this color here. So let's run it. Boom. And as you see, it continues onward. So make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any suggestions, any topics, any questions that you might have. All right, thanks.